See, we got to mark these corners. First, we have a, our chalk line is centered down the center of the log from end to end. You know where our center is, so this is our center mark. Then we just put these little marks so we don't cut too far. When we cut this, this receiver, we put them out a half to an inch from the center. And then we make them 12 inches wide each way, so this is a 12 inch mark. So that's where you start each side, 12 inches out, when you cut these flaws. And the bottom is cut, we try to cut the bottom here so that it leaves about a six and a half or seven inch wide flat from center. So that when we fit our other log on and we have our, it fits better above the floor here. Then, so. Yeah, this is the side where we're out about four inches wide when we hit the flat. So when we fit the next log up to it, then we set this up on a one by six so your floor can slide underneath when you put your finished floor. So then one by six will sit in here. When you go in here and the other logs over here, you slide under and you don't see any spot of that shim underneath. You just see the finished floor. Okay. Yeah, this, so now, now we're going to sand this up with the angle sander. We use a 36 grit so it's a bit finer but it's still fairly fast. And sand them all up smooth for finish. Then we get rid of all the saw marks and then it looks pretty Take a we turn the log the way we want it for up and then we turn it upside down to get the bottom. This is the bottom of this one. And then we go down far enough here and on that end in order to make a nice flat that we want and to sink it whatever we want to wind up with on the, on the thickness here. And then we put our level lines across and we've chalked the side and I've ripped it all flat and smoothed it up. So now it's ready to, 
put on and rough knots down. So we just then we just gotta turn it over and That's about the right way up now, so then we're ready to lift it on. Um, you got it going? Okay, well, uh, I, I just measure in because I leave. Uh, we we use a final from the outside of the wall of 18 inch for the finish. And we're, our center of our wall is four inches in, that's 22, so I make it 26 to give us about four inches of trim on the outside. That's what I've come in is uh, 26 inches there and put a mark. And then it's center to center on these two logs is 23.4. So I come here at 23.4, mark that, and this should be about 26 inch left if we made it right. There it is, 26. So that gives us our trim. So this this center mark will sit on the center of this center line there and there. And then it leaves me enough here for our overhang and our trim and on both ends. Then we're ready to mark the rough notch. I'm just going to hook this on here, this chalk line, and go to the other end just so I can figure where center is of the log is. Some logs that are kind of curved, you kind of have to run a string line down them to figure where you want your centers on the ends to be. So your log is more or less the whole, as much on each side of the line as can be. Looks like uh, this log curves a little this way and there's a bit of a curve over there. so. Actually, more or less, the log is as much weight on each side of the line. So that's pretty well good right there. So we'll use that as center. The line didn't show up real good there yet, but it's good for now. I'll put a new one on later. Okay, these, these marks that I put here that are 12 inch from center are for cutting these flaws to be approximately within 12 inch. Plus it gives you a 12 inch offset. So you can measure back here to tell where center is. So when I put that level plumb like that, it shows that I'm 12 and a half from center. So I need to just slide this log over about half an inch. And then I should be center. And then it's ready to mark. Yeah, just needs a, about an eighth just a bump there. There, that's good. And then I'll do the same at the other end. This end is the wheel. Okay, that's good. 